Now that I have the service class over here, what I'm going to do is switch over to index.ts, which is my main file. And here I'm going to create an instance of that service and call the method. In order to create an instance of the service, first I'm going to import the service. And now I can create a new instance of the class. the service and I'm going to call the method get user info and I'm going to pass in my user ID and uh, ideally it should make that rest API call and print something to the console I do have a feeling that I might not have all the headers ready so I'm just going to test this out npm start Yeah, I do get null back. So I'm gonna have to figure out what the uh, what the error is. So in order to troubleshoot this, what I'm gonna do is use the other signature where you know when you pass in a function to response.get, uh, I'm just passing in a response object. Uh, I can pass in a couple of other objects which capture the error and the body. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, error is any, response is any, and body is any as well and I'm gonna print those three all right I'm gonna run this again and we get an error uh, so the body says request forbidden by administrative rules please make sure your request has a user agent header so the github API requires your request to have a user agent header. So I need to add that header to my request uh, when I make the request. So uh, this gets us back to using the um, to using the options over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and create an options. with the user agent and uh, I'm just gonna make this uh, have the value of request it really doesn't matter the github API just expects the request to have this header over here so I'm gonna pass the options as the second argument and uh, let me change this to print the body apparently the response is null uh, we're gonna just get the body here and I'm gonna pass in the error as well. All right, and now I get a response. So in essence, uh, I was making two mistakes. The first was not passing in the options. Uh, the GitHub API expects the request to have headers, so I passed that. The second mistake I was making was in printing out the op printing out the output. So I was just accepting one argument in this function, but uh, turns out there's another signature which takes in three arguments, and it's the third argument which actually contains the the result, which is the output, it's the body, right? So with these two changes, now I have uh, the output printed on the console. Now we're gonna enhance this in order to make this more reusable. We don't wanna just print this to the console, right? We wanna create an object out of it and we wanna use the classes that we have created over here. Uh, before we wind up and move on to the next uh, thing that we need to do, I wanna highlight one thing. You see here the request.get and also the output function over here, they are all kind of overloaded in the sense that you have different behaviors happening for different arguments. And uh, there was a couple of uh, things that I, I faced over here in this uh, video. I wasn't using the right signature. I wasn't using the right number of arguments. And uh, you might be wondering, well, how is this possible? Because we learned that JavaScript does not do uh, function overloading, right? You don't have an option of creating different functions with different arguments and have the right function be picked depending on the number of arguments that you pass. It's just one function name, right? 
Well, the thing that happens with all, a lot of these libraries and something you can do in your code as well, is even though JavaScript is not allowing these different overloaded functions, you as a function author can support it. You can create a function which examines the number of arguments that is being passed and then do different things based on the different uh, number of arguments. And that's what a lot of these libraries do and that's what you can do as well. So in a way, you as a developer can overcome the limitation of uh, the language not having overloaded functions, right? So that's what's happening over here. There is some intelligent code in the request library which looks at the number of arguments and says, okay, if there are only two arguments, well, the second argument should be a function. Well, if there are three arguments, the second argument should be the options that I'm going to use to modify the HTTP request, and uh, the third argument is going to be a function. So there is code written which does this, all right? So the, don't mistake this for somehow JavaScript having overloading uh, out of the box. It doesn't, right? The language doesn't support it. It's just the, you know, the developers have written around it. They've written logic around it.